This video is all about Vidu's new 2.0 video model as well as looking at the reference to video feature which I found really cool. This was a paid promotion by the way. The guys at Vidu gave me uh, a bucket load of credits to play around and I've really really enjoyed it. So first the reference to video feature. So when we're talking about reference to video I need to explain why reference to video is important. Vidu's feature has uh, three images that you can import and then make a video from those three reference images and this is really important there are a number of companies that are do offering this kind of feature and um, I, I, I like the, what Video have done here but I need to talk about why it's important if you don't already get this. Narrative filmmaking um, require, and in fact any kind of AI storytelling requires continuity not just consistent characters. Consistent characters are one element of that and people talk about consistent characters but it's much more than that when you get into film and television. It's continuity which is a lot more things. Let me give you an example. I was thinking recently about what goes into a typical shot and I just listed the first 10 things that came to mind and um, I mean character consistency or continuity is a really important one. Location is another issue where continuity is really important. The, the location needs to look the same shot to shot to shot. Then you've got costume that has to be consistent. Visual effects need to be consistent. Props need to be consistent shot to shot to shot. Vehicles need to be consistent. The pose needs to be consistent. You know if you're cutting backwards and forwards between the same shot and somebody in one shot is doing this and the next shot they're doing this and it you know action needs to be consistent in the real world this is blocking this is where blocking comes into it where you figure out where everybody is going to go and what action is going to be performed by who and with real actors <laughs> it's a problem for real actors if you don't have three cameras on the same shot you need the action to be consistent absolutely consistent uh, so that when you film it again from a different angle it looks exactly the same and to be honest even if you've got three cameras on the same scene and you go through a take and you've got the same action recorded exactly the same if you don't have that action the same in the next take and the next take you can't edit between them so eye direction flipping it man eye direction it's absolutely critical that the characters are looking where they're supposed to be looking and that has to be consistent shot to shot. Colours, the colour scheme, that has to be consistent. That's just 10 things off the top of my head. Now this is why reference images to video are a really really important innovation when it comes to um, generative AI video. So here's a shot that I had real trouble making. And this was a shot with a fairy tale princess on Oxford Street in London with crowds of screaming people running away from a giant dragon chasing the princess. And I had real trouble getting this shot, just trying to prompt the whole thing. And so I eventually um, got this shot, which has the princess in the costume that she needed to be in, running away from the dragon. And the dragon is there with, and he's looking scary and people are running away. You have no idea how much trouble I had just trying to get a shot that did that, that had all of those elements with the people running in the right direction, running away from the dragon instead of running towards the dragon, all kinds of things like that, having the girl screaming. So the quality, you can look at the quality here and go, well, there's a, it's a little bit ropey, but in all honesty, for previs and for storyboarding, that's great because she's running in the right direction, the dragon's running in the right direction, and the people are running in the right direction, and the location looks consistent. So how I got that was I loaded up these three images, um, a shot of the princess, and then the shot of the dragon running down Oxford Street, terrorizing people, and then some screaming shoppers, because it's extraordinarily difficult, it turns out, to get shoppers to look terrified when they're shopping in Oxford Street. AI just goes, well, I've given you your shoppers. What more do you want? And so I had to deliberately get those three things together and, and I got a shot that worked for me. So ideally reference to video would have a lot more variables, but for now, three variables is good. Let me tell you now about the new version that video has out, video uh, 2.0. What it is is not so much an improved version but an alternate version. What it gives you the option here is um, the video 1.5 is th they're equally valuable now but for different purposes. Video 1.5 is better for precision prompts 
and dynamic video generation, as it points out. And video 2.0 gives you the option for faster generation speed. And I can attest to that. It really is much quicker and with more stable video. But there's a trade off with both of them. So let me show you. I went back to an emotion test I did a few weeks ago uh, with 10 emotions and um, video did really, really well against Minimax in terms of presenting really, really delightfully authentic human emotions. And I was really, really impressed with what video did. So I thought, well, let's see how the new version of um, you know 2.0 does if I run the same tests again. So I took a different picture, started again um, fresh, and this is what I came up with. Angry. Here you can see 1.5 is a much more animated version. Two is a very, very subtle. Um, and there are times when that'll be really, really, really good. Going into flirting now, and you see uh, 1.5, she's definitely more smiley. In version 2, there's still, that is still there. And you can see when you go through this, now looking at Frightened, that the animation is, um, it's less animated in version 2, but it's more crisp, it's more clean. 1.5 is a lot more animated, but it's a little softer with the um, with the animation and nervous. You can see much more animation in the emotion with 1.5 and it's it's almost not there with version two, but it's cleaner and crisper. And when there is some emotion, it's subtle. And there really are times where subtle emotion is what you're looking for. And there are plenty of other times where you're looking for dramatic emotion, uh, heartbroken now. Uh, clearly, the 1.5 girl is, is is really upset. Uh, number two, version two, she's she's looking sedated about it, but I'm not sure that she's heartbroken. And sometimes the prompting isn't enough to give you that differentiation. So having something that forces it to be more dramatic or less dramatic can be quite helpful. Uh, puzzled again, version two, many of these end up looking really, really similar. But with a few, these are all first generations, by the way. I didn't try regenerating and regenerating and regenerating. And so Intrigued is another one that I like 1.5. I really like it for the um, for the emotions. Now, Dawning Realization, this was an interesting one. This I had real problems with, um, with 1.5 in that for some reason, I, I got lots of these same a kind of blooming effect on the shot. Um, but I do like the way that her face does hit the mark in that this specific, this prompt specifically was asking her to start off happy and then have this moment of dawning realization where something's not right. And so I, this was a tricky one. I wanted to see how well it handled it. And I mean, I've always been impressed with the way it does give her this moment of something's wrong. And I, and so there are different versions of it, but why it's blooming like this, I, I don't know. So depending on what you're looking for, which is, which is more important in your shot, it's a different amount that you pay. This is version 1.5 and for version 1.5, four seconds at 1080p will cost me 72 credits. Whereas if I go to version two, which is much quicker, it's down to 24 credits. So it's using up a lot less processing time and therefore I think yeah, that's the trade off. It's not doing as much animation um, and so you can bring the cost down. And if you're looking for something that doesn't require that much animation, then that's a more cost effective way to work. I quite like having that option of, uh, of different price points for different types of generation. Very, very useful tool. So worth checking out.